Soulsby. Wow, what a nice buildup that was. I think I'll uh, make sure I check that wardrobe out again. Thank you, and joining me now is Dan Rouse. <laughs> See what he did? A compliment, it goes right to my head. Now I'm with Dan Rouse, and he will be driving CR Goldmine in today's third race. And Dan, everybody's talking about the racetrack, what the overnight weather did to it. You've been out there warming one up. What's it like? It's still a little tacky, but um, it, it's drying real, real good, and uh, I think the uh, horses will go over it really well. All right, the conditions will be good, I think. The sun has peaked out, and it is drying it out. What about the wind? Any factor today? Certainly not as great as yesterday. Well, you know, Delaware has always been front-end bias here, and uh, uh, right now I don't, I really don't know. You know, only one race has gone off so far, and uh, the front-end's held up. But uh, uh, as the day goes on, it might play a factor with the wind. It's really strong up the backstretch, so it's going to be hard to tell uh, if the front end's going to be real strong or not. As a driver, do you always take the opportunity to watch a race or two before you get in action if you have it? Uh, well, here at Delaware, <laughs> it's always good to be on the front. I mean, it's about 75 to 80 percent of the races are won that way. And uh, in my race, I know I'm not going to be there, so it, it could be interesting. It sounds like you're telling us that CR Goldmine lacks early gate speed. Well, he, he has to mind his P's and Q's off the gate, and uh, he's just not the type of horse that you can get him riled up and start, start him up real quick. And... Uh, so I'm probably not going to be there on the front, but um, let's hope we're there at the end of the wire. All right, you have your work cut out for you then. If you said the bulk of the race is being on the front end, how close do you think you can sit to the pace? Oh, if he just holds position, and um, then of course you're going to have to, I'm going to have to move him sometime past the half probably. And uh, it's a very high-speed horse, so uh, hopefully, uh, like I said, we can get there. What about coming first up on the half? Dangerous spot to be in? Uh, not really you know it just depends on where the fractions are at early uh you know if you get a good first quarter and uh you know the horses don't get a breather the second quarter i think you know first up doesn't really hurt you that much here but uh really if they get any kind of a breather at all going to the half or whatnot it, first up is a little bit tough you talk about his safety away from the gate he's been racing at the meadows of course a 5 8 mile track do you think that he will be comfortable here on the half yeah, he's raced in Northfield and uh, showed some good efforts up there and uh, paces the turns really well. So uh, I'm not really worried about you know him getting around a half. Uh, it's just a matter of him behaving himself and keeping his manners. It looks like he's been sparkling at times, Dan. Four wins out of 19 starts, but not backed up by many seconds and thirds. Is, is he an on again, off again? Well, he, uh, he got real good early and then ran into a little bit of problems here and there. And, uh, and uh, hopefully he's back on his game right now. Uh, we uh, just been trying to teach him some manners, and uh, and that's you know he's I know he's got the ability. And, I mean there was even a little bit of a question whether we should even went the jug, and everybody might think I'm crazy, but uh, I think he's that kind of horse. I drove uh, Legacy of Power and Sadie's Dreamboat, and and I think he's uh, in the same ballpark. Well, that's saying an awful lot about CR Goldmine, and I think uh, I thank you for that comment. Tells the horse players at home a lot about your faith in this particular cult, so I'll be anxious to watch him, too. Uh, Dan, one of the things you've done well here in Ohio in your home state is compete year-round and hold up a good UDRS rating. I think it's somewhere around the 300 mark. That's a lot of consistency on your part as a driver. Any particular tricks? Well, uh, I, I'm not really what I'd call a catch driver. I, I, I tried it a few times, and I'm not, I'm not real. Uh, I mean, I do most of the training my own horses. So, uh, you know, we've been pretty proud and uh, and uh, had a lot of success through the years in uh, training our stable, and uh, you know, just the hard work and dedication. I think in a good, good uh, stable, everything you know works hand in hand. I guess. The disappearing trainer and driver in our sport. Well, there still is one left in Dan Ross. Good luck today, Dan. All right, thank you, Trish.